welcome to today's videos guys so this is a continuation of the last video i made um, about fetching static images from your from your project and save it let me let me show you what i'm talking about so let me start this out real quick okay so <clears throat> This is an endpoint to fetch static files, either PDF or whatever file. So if you ever if you have more of that video you can I'll link it in the video description or you can check my my videos for it. That's just the first video I've made. So for this one I'm going to be um continuing by um, teaching you guys how to use multi nest. So so use Mota that's for file uploads. So rather than just manually posting those files that you can upload it through like a request. Let's say you want to use a request to upload files, which is common. So first of all, uh, what we are going to do is to create a new resource. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using like a profile resource. Let's say an email, a user wants to upload a profile picture. So I'm just going to create a new resource. This G here means generate so make sure you are telling this this is nest cli so if you don't have nest installed you can install it from so for this one you get nest g resource then the profile the name of the resource so i'm going to take profile which is i'm just going to rest api and i don't want create entry points from now so since this is the first time creating a resource on this project it's going to install the so packages all right so the package has been installed so now i'm going to go to my profile let me just say this test files you don't need test files so the only file i'll be working on in under this profile uh, resource is just the controller so first of all to get rid of all these um uh squiggly line red lines we'll have to do is edit this um ESL into the JS file. So we're going to add a couple of rules. So what we're going to do is um I'm going to I'm just going to paste it and you can pause the video so in case you need this. So what happens is it's going to get rid of those errors right here. So okay. I'm going to create a post endpoint. So I have to import it. Then I'll call the endpoints of upload. Then let's say upload profile image. So first of all, what you need to do is there's an interceptor. And you don't have to actually um the most simplest way to do it first is to use a nest decorator, which is use interceptors. And this interceptor takes two arguments. First of all, the one is the file interceptor, which is going to be coming from next slash platform express. Then, then you give it the field name. Let me show you what the field name is. First of all, if I go to my Thunder client real quick, I've actually made um I've done this in the background before making this video, but let me show you what the, what it means. This is the field name here. The field name that we pass the request containing that file itself so let's if and also for those in case you want to be sending requests from the front end use um the content type of the header should be multi-part slash from data multi-part slash from data because that's what um multi uses so all supports rather so this is the field name here which we're going to pass to this file interceptor right here which you see right here the field name so we'll call it image since it's an image unit um, you're going to be passing or you're going to be sending in the request then it also takes in an option this option is a multi option but for now no, not in the interceptor the file interceptor itself it takes in an option but we'll get back to this so what we can do right here now is just to uh, get that file itself so there's another decorator in built into nest which is a uploaded file we get that then you, you, could, you could even see right here we're going to use file then we'll give it a type if you're using typescript 
it's going to be express dot folder dot file and if you notice it is not um it is giving an error here we need to install the uh, motor types package because um, it does not come with um, nest so let us install that real quick so we'll say npm i g type slash motor so what this does is it sees it as a dependencies so let me just run this paste when I'm Alright, so now that that's finished, it should we shouldn't get an error right here again. So now, what we could just do? Let us just make a basic example and log the file. But this is not going to be this is not going to save the file to um, his destination for now. It's just going to um, store the file data in memory. So let's just see what happens. Let's see. I I run this. If you don't have this, this is another client. It's an extension, you know. VS code extension marketplace this is right here so now I can just send this request attach a file to it give the file the field name as image and if I send that file it's it logs in it logs the uh, the file which we said it should right here what this buffer means is it's a save the memory not uh, in the directory for now so that's the first part that's the first part of it so you see that it's very simple so now what we have to do is just create the motor options all right so now what we're going to talk about is passing in a motor config right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder call it config and create a motor.config.cs file I'm going to create a uh, motor options object. Okay, I'm going to export it real quick. So, rather than hard coding everything, I'm just going to paste everything and explain what's going on. Alright, so now this is the motor options right here. So, first of all, for motor you're going to have to define a storage this is the main the main thing you should first do is to define a storage then pass the type of storage there's a thick storage and then there's a memory storage but since you're trying to save it you use the thick storage and then here this is a upload path so what i did was to make it simple by just separating it to its own um, variable then check this place here checks if the um the folder is existing if not then we're going to create the folder then we're going to yeah we're going to create the folder now for the file name the thing is just to create this one here gets the original name the original name of the file which it should be looking like something like this for this example and then we get the extension this ext name is coming from the path module which returns the extension of the file from the file name itself so right here we just generate the random number then we save it using our file name now right here for file filter you could check you will check the type of file if it conforms to an image or not right here there's a pdf here so what happens is it checks if the mime type of the file contains either a jpeg jpg jpeg or png if not it's going to try an error and reject that file so since you are trying to uh, validate that it's an image also you are passing a limit right here the file size the number of files you want and then the file size this is like a calculation of file size so 1024 times 1024 gives one megabyte so you just divide by two to get 500 kilobytes that's the maximum file size that is acceptable first of all let's pass in the, the motor options right there 
and then start the server. So now we test the endpoints. And you notice the image right here. So it's been saved to our directory. Let's say the public folder doesn't exist. It still checks because if you try to upload a full um, a file to a folder that does not exist, if you don't do this check right here, it's going to throw an error because the file the folder is not found. So that's that's the importance of that check right there. So now we send it, it's going to create that folder. So That should be everything. Then you can actually do anything you want with this file. It has saved the path to a database in case you want to get it next time. That should be all for this video. Please, if you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment, and I'd really appreciate it. And it should help my channel grow. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.